not a bad landing <laughs> but it is the lowest dock finger pier i've had to tie up to Usually there are posts and so the rub rails are at a level where they can touch the posts the posts stick out but here it's like really low and so i had to pull out every fender i own so uh thanks again for joining me welcome to stir crazy sailing and adventures i'm dennis i left a career i enjoyed to pursue the activities that i love with the aim of single-handing a sailboat from lake michigan to the caribbean that's just a bad idea. I expect some success. Not a job for a single-handed sailor. And some failure along the way, but that's part of the adventure. I'll also share with you how I try to stay healthy and fit as I go. Having you along will make this trip even more fun. Thanks for joining. I'd really like to be getting underway today, but uh, I need to inspect <laughs> the keel after uh, running aground in Algonac, hitting a tree limb and 14 feet of water, and, uh, and Harbor Beach uh, being a uh, a port that had more shallow water than what um, the person understood initially who I spoke with there. So I've been put in bay and I'd love to get my my boat on its way to Cleveland because the wind is from the west and I can do it in 10 hours but I'm putting on my wetsuit backward and talking with you and I've got to inspect the uh, underside of the boat. The juxtaposition of me putting on my flippers next to my mountain bike is not lost on me. <laughs> I would rather be biking, um, but there's not a great trail here, and uh, the wind is going to be right to get me to Cleveland, and I really do need to see whether or not I did any damage to the keel of my boat when I ran aground and hit a limb in the St. Clair River. So gotta see if any damage has been done to my keel this is a cute town I'll try to get a few pictures it's worth visiting especially if you're up for just a party <laughs> lots of uh, lots of, of outside bars and themed places that are up for uh, a good time but under we go Then I got the uh, weeds off. Crop shaft. Okay, keel's okay. And uh, prop shaft just had some weeds on it. No big deal. All right. A 35 minute ferry boat ride from the mainland put in bay is near where Admiral Perry defeated the British Navy during the War of 1812, and they haven't stopped celebrating since. You know, your traditional uh, chicken patio to, uh, you know, bars and Put in Bay certainly has a rich heritage, but is also the location of the internationally renowned Benson Ford Ship House. I'll include information on that in the description. More spider webs. And the place that seems to be the real draw along the waterfront is the boardwalk. Place is cute. Tourist trap, no doubt, but. 
It's the place to be if you're into golf carts. And at 352 feet high, Commodore Perry's Victory and International Peace Memorial can be seen across Lake Erie. We're ready. A beautiful following sea, six knots and 12 knots of wind. And just uh, about a hundred, I guess I've got all the Genoa out. Yeah. So cranking right along. Lorraine is likely tonight. Wind and weather would cause me to skip Cleveland. Lorraine was just a few hours ahead, but I was getting stir crazy and I needed some exercise. And I didn't know at this point that there was excitement ahead as I tried to make my way to the Welland Canal with stops in Ashtabula and Erie, Pennsylvania. Lorraine, Ohio, gateway to Cleveland. Let's see if we can find D78. Bingo. Oasis Marine, this is stir crazy over. Wow, that is a low concrete dock. That's that's hard for a hard on a sailboat haul. But thank you, that's not your issue. Thank you, you've been very helpful. I'm glad you answered the phone. Wow. That slab of concrete is it. like a little concrete. Yes. bad landing but wait it gets better I mean I don't know that every dock is designed this way metal sticking out from the side of a dock I mean I get the water system I got electrical you know, that stuff can be run through conduit. On a dock that's unprotected, they just need a couple of four by fours on either side of it. Man, that's, that's just bad news. Anyway, Oasis Marina, <laughs> Lorraine, Ohio. Um, glad I was lucky there and uh, got my fenders in place. Holy cannoli. This doesn't look good trying to get around this freighter. Chased off Lake Erie by oncoming storms, I found myself near Ashtabula, Ohio, and in need to get around a very large freighter. It was a tight squeeze and a very interesting negotiation. Man, that's closer than I want the bridge tender before I got through the bridge and into the marina. That's nuts. My GoPro went haywire for a bit so I had to shoot this on my cell phone. That was ridiculous. Great wind, offshore. I was doing 
eight knots with two reefs in the main and the one 65-ish out. And uh, man, um, if, if a storm were not coming, it would be a great way and a great day for me to make up time. But the Weather Channel is saying there's a severe storm coming, but the people in Ashtabula don't seem to think so. Yeah, red is bad. Red is bad when it comes to sailing and uh, wind conditions. So I'm, I'm glad I ducked in here, but I'm bummed it's going to mess up my schedule for reaching um, the Welland Canal for my Saturday transit with Norm, my hired deckhand. Everything's lined up, but today's Wednesday. I don't know that I can get to Port Colburn by Friday night and be queued up for Saturday morning. So I'm a bit crestfallen today. The sun is coming out as I leave Ashtabula. I don't know what I was worried about, except it's going to be a rough ride in the channel, I'm sure. Hang in there. Two reefs in the main. Should be what we want today. Normally I wouldn't open up the Genoa in a channel but I'm going right into the wind and uh, it's going to be wavy so I want to get out about 100% anyway. Enough for me to mess with. My kayak is not always my friend when it comes to uh, my general lines. There we go. And that's why I like to do it in the channel when I can resolve the issue a little easier than... Oh, let's see. This might just work out. Ah. You can almost always count on rough seas getting out of channels, jeez. I do get green around the gills sometimes and my remedy of choice is a bag of ginger snaps. Getting a little dusky as I approach uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. Interesting port. One needs to go around the port to go past it by a long way and then come back into it. It's going to be chilly. Good thing I've got my woolies and uh, really happy to get this leg of the journey behind me. I haven't landed yet. Got to go underneath some kind of a walkway at a hotel. They say I've got 65 feet of clearance. I need 60, should be no big deal, right? And then on the intercoastal waterway, intracoastal waterway, then uh, that's what I need as well. I need to be under 65 feet, so this will be a good test for uh, that piece of the intercoastal waterway. I'll likely go through to avoid Cape Hatteras. Yeah. All the wind came before uh, two in the afternoon. Man, there was plenty of it. Anyway, happy to be getting into Erie, Pennsylvania. Erie has a tourist's feel to it. And my boat is supposed to go underneath the walkway of the Sheridan Hotel. They say that it's 65 feet high. My mast is about 60. Should be good. Still nervous, always am. This is never fun. I don't even want to go where the downspout is. Yay. 
takes. I'm glad it wasn't the entertainment to hit that tonight. It's a cool harbor. I like Erie, Pennsylvania so far. Getting here is not so easy. This is going to be tight. You want me in front of him or behind him? You want me behind him? You want me right there? 42 feet? Okay. Didn't understand your tactic there. It's okay. We're like good. I, I should have. Yeah, I would have thrown you the. Uh, would have thrown you the stern line. I'd rather, I'd rather have a big ship. Yep, you're good. You're good. I like the spring line, but we're gonna need to pull over the uh, the stern. I'll hop off here. Pull it up about four, three feet, four feet. Another happy landing. Neil was very helpful. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the ride. It's always an adventure. See ya. Hey, thanks for joining me. The timeline is getting tight for me to get the sailboat through the Erie Canal before it closes. Well, it's going to be in the 40s tonight. Do I or do I not use some Hilton reward points and stay at the hamster over there? I really appreciate you joining me. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and you'll want to hit the notification button because for subscribers down the road, there will be a coffee mug competition. Thanks again. I'll see you next week.